gonna show you the full tour of the house. It is empty. We literally just got the keys 10 minutes ago. So come on in. It's gonna be very echoey, but I'll talk you through what our plans are, what we're gonna change, where we're gonna put things, and just the general layout. I know nobody in the vlogs has seen the garage or the backyard or anything yet. It does need a lot of work, but this is the empty house tour. Okay, so you come through the front door and you are in our den living space. We could not tell how big this was gonna be based off the pictures, nor could we tell if there was a wall here. Thank goodness there is, because this is where the TV is going to go. So we're gonna have our media unit and the TV mounted up on this wall. And if you switch sides with me, this is where our couch is going to go. The issue, we have a chase that goes on this side at the moment, which blocks this doorway. So we can't use our current couch in here. We wanna get a sectional that has a chase on this side or potentially as a regular couch. We're gonna figure that out, but um, we have a couple couches that we're looking at and then we're gonna be putting our old couch in my office. But I'll switch with you and coming this way is going to be our bedroom. So we actually are painting tomorrow. We don't know if it's allowed or not, but we're going to anyways. This is a pretty big bedroom for all things considered. Oh, and one thing I'm so excited about, <laughs> the recess lighting throughout the whole house is huge for filming. So it's gonna be super exciting. So we're thinking probably bed here, side table, side table, and then switching sides with you. We're probably gonna have our dresser here. And actually with that layout, Brooke, if you want, you could put a TV in here. You probably don't want to though, because you're gonna have a TV in your office, which we'll get to, but that would give us options to have almost the same layout that I have right now with you know the art over it and our dresser and everything like that. But the closets, I think these are actually bigger than our current closets, would you say? Definitely. They are pretty deep, which is great. So it's, you know, typical. I feel like these are pretty typical in California, these like double doored closets, but wow. Oh, there is access to the attic in here. You wanna come look? So it's pretty deep, it's pretty wide. We were wondering how to get into the attic and there's, there's the access up there. I don't know what the lighting is like in here, but I'm excited because we can actually put our laundry in here. Because right now, one of my biggest pet peeves is having our laundry basket out. Because when it gets full, it gets kind of stressful. So we can have our laundry baskets in there, which is awesome. Okay, coming back through the den, Oh, look at this super high-tech security system. Vivint, I actually already emailed them to see if they would sponsor me. I didn't tell you this yet. <laughs> but I was like, hey, I just got a house that has Vivint. If you wanna do sponsorship, teach me how to work it. <laughs> okay, so there's this little ca casing that opens up into, this is going to be our dining space. I'm very excited because this is the perfect size for our round table right now. So we have our round table that can go here. I'm thinking we have a little, what do you call that? It's not a credenza, caned thing that we use as a pantry right now. Would fit here if we need it. I can't decide if I want to keep that or not. But then we just got to get some bar stools and that's good to go. The weird thing is there's no central, which is fine because we only use our AC and heat less than half the year, but this is not in any of the bedrooms. So I'm like, do we have to sleep with our door open to feel the AC? Don't quite know, but this is where the only heat and air conditioning is at the moment. It has like a remote control. I'll do the bedrooms before we do the kitchen. Okay, this is gonna be my office. It is very big. It is very bright. <laughs> I'm so excited. It doesn't have a closet, which I think legally they can't actually count this as a bedroom, right? Without a closet. I think that's law, like real estate law. But these lights aren't even on and it's still so bright in here, which is crazy awesome. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna put our current couch in here. I was hoping I could put it along this wall so that the chase could go on this side, but we just measured and it's too small. So it's gonna have to go along this wall with the chase on this side. And I got a really cool cabinet that I think I'm gonna put over here on this wall. And then my desk probably facing the window. But if you wanna switch with me, I'm gonna have a shelf probably here and maybe wrap it around this wall where I can put plants and like just cute little things. Cause this is gonna be the background of a lot of my videos. So I could do try on hauls here with the couch in the background, sit down videos on the couch, things like that. I have my like plaque up there, plants, accessories. It'll be really cute, so I'm excited. And then Brooke, you have an office. Oh, I'm glad I took that one. That one definitely gets better light, no offense. <laughs> this one's smaller, but it has a really big closet. One funny thing is this wall warps. This is something I didn't share yet, but <laughs> this house was built in 1906. And I wish I could show you the Google street pictures of this house. I can't, because then I'd be showing you where we live, but it was rough when they bought it. Like, 
half the roof was gone, <laughs> like rough. So I don't know if this is just structural or I don't know why that's curved like that, but Brooke was thinking about maybe, I don't know if he's gonna, this, this room is all his free, free range, but we're gonna be painting all these rooms white. And he was thinking about maybe doing desk here with a TV over it and then having like a big recliner here so that he could sit here, play video games, also use the TV as a second monitor, do whatever. But the closet in here is very deep. I could sleep in here. This could be a fourth bedroom. <laughs> I will probably keep, you know, vacuums, mops, things like that in here. And then the only time I'll probably come in and out of your office is I think I'll finally get some studio lights and maybe store them in here, if that's okay with you, maybe. So that's that. Um, then back out into our dining room is our kitchen. We are the first people to use all these appliances. I love this island. We should get some bar stool seats, probably just two. I don't think we could fit more than two comfortably here, but it's gonna be great to, you know, cook, entertain. This feels so open compared to where we are right now, but there's a lot of hidden storage. So this is a big deal. I know, I know if you're watching from Texas or whatever, you probably have a walk-in pantry, I know. But to even have like a, a pantry cabinet is such a big deal. I already put my purse and stuff in there to film this, but it's so deep and it's so tall and we can just store so much in here forever. So I'm really excited about that. And then she just got us this fridge, which Brooke is really excited about. We just showed this in our vlog. Oh, that has to be completely closed. Okay, that's good to know. But it's one of these like French door fridges. All of these are adjustable. It has water on the inside. Um, drawers, so nice. You can, you can connect to your phone. That's so freaking cool. And then it has, what do you call this? Like the drawer fridge, uh, the drawer freezer? The freezer drawer. Um, and it has ice in here, which Brooke's excited about. You're mostly excited about the fridge. I am excited about this stove oven. It has a fifth burner in the center. You put a little teapot on that. Not that I really ever make like tea in a teapot, but all of this cabinetry, each one of these corners has like the Lazy Susan in it, which is awesome. So every single space is accounted for in terms of storage. And this dishwasher, I think is the one my parents have. And there's a silent which for filming is awesome. Right now I have to wait and run our dishwasher until I'm done filming for the day. But I think with this type, I can run it whenever. And it has all the controls on the inside. One of the only problem areas is the bathroom because there's no storage, but it's cute. I'll show you. This is the bathroom. It's gonna be a tight squeeze in here, but there's no storage. This is just a regular mirror. I did already buy a storage mirror that has, um, you open it and there's shelving on the inside and we could even maybe put another shelf here with just essentials. This isn't even a drawer. This is just how to get to the plumbing inside, but there is one drawer right here and that's it in terms of storage. Um, so we were thinking about getting a very small little unit right here that we could at least put towels in and you know, the occasional thing. I guess I just really got to pare down on what I keep in the bathroom. But one thing I'm excited about is I couldn't tell from the listing pictures. There is this little cutout ledge right here. So at first I was like, not having a shower curtain, I don't want to have a ton of product in the shower because it will look cluttered and dirty. So I'm glad that this ledge is here and I'll probably get like amber glass jars and just do like shampoo, conditioner, body wash and that's it and try to keep everything else out just so that it looks pretty since this is the one and only bathroom. So this is the bathroom that all guests will be using and everything like that. But it feels very nice and clean. Now the backyard, the backyard is rough. This is a quarter acre, which is huge for Pasadena and they're gonna be doing work on it. We don't exactly know what that means or what that entails, but I'll show you out there. We're gonna see how this audio works. But one thing I'm excited about is this little porch space. We could have like a little bistro table or something over here, a couple chairs, work out here, have coffee. It's just nice and cute. And it's raised away from the rest of the house, which is cool. But there's this huge, huge concrete slab. We can do whatever with, so we could park cars behind the gate here. But I was thinking like do a sectional outdoor sofa and like a picnic table and just make this a really cool outdoor lounge kind of space. Comes the wind. But this is the area that's rough. This grass space back here. It's really big. Oh my gosh, is that a lemon tree? Can we go look? I think it's a lemon tree. Is it safe for me to walk out here? I think that this is grapefruit. I think this is a, like a large grapefruit tree. This is the only one on, no, there's a couple. It's grapefruit. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, 
So there's potential, it's really rough. They're gonna do something, we don't know yet, but we're also willing to put some of our own money into it to make it nice back here. We don't know exactly what that will entail yet, but that gets to be part of Brooke's project and Brooke's vision. She's very open to us kind of doing whatever, especially with the garage, which I will show you the garage now. So we were just now saying that we might partition this off temporarily while we fix everything to make sure Max doesn't get back there because there seems to be old demolition and stuff hiding under the grass. But you can see some mountains, I just realized. Can you see this on the, on the camera? Up through this house back here, can you see the mountains up there? No? Oh, well, it's pretty when you can actually see it. But um, the garage space is cool. This is where the washer dryer will be eventually. Oh, did she lock it or is it unlocked? Okay, there we go. So this is original to the house, meaning this was also built in 1906. Honestly, didn't even know people had cars back then. <laughs> but they have put, since put in new automatic garage doors. I'll close this just so that we can have clean audio. This is totally up to Brooke, whatever he wants to do with it as well. This is where the washer dryer hookups will be. I'm working and praying that Samsung will work with me <laughs> for washer dryers. Samsung, if you're listening, you wanna work together on that, that'd be awesome. But so this will be washer dryer. Otherwise, there's this little workbench, but um, I mean, it's pretty stone. It's stained and our landlord told us that we can rip it out if we want. So this is totally up to Brooke what he wants to do with it. They, they painted it to look a lot nicer inside, which is great. But yeah, you still think you might do a gym in here? Probably. Brooke said he might put down rubber flooring, put a couple, you know, gym equipment pieces in here, maybe some mirrors on this wall. I don't know, whatever you want to make this a gym, but it's nice that it has automatic doors because I feel like normally you have to push them yourself. So um, that's the house, we're so excited. Just got the keys today, coming tomorrow to paint, and then we'll be moving in. I don't know when this video is coming out, but there'll be a lot of moving vlogs, decorating vlogs. I hope that you're excited because I am so dang excited. I cannot believe we have a house, we have a house. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have the best rest of your day. We have a lot of work ahead of us, but we're just so excited about it. And we'll see you in a lot of videos about this house very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Talking to you. Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in.